Um, what is the most likely consequence of this renal abnormality during fetal development? An infant is born with flattened facial uh, profile, low set ears, and limb deformities. Imaging shows absence of both kidneys. What is the most likely consequence of this renal abnormality? Um, this is what I believe to be Potter sequence. Um, I actually don't remember if it's polyhydramnios or oligohydramnios. So polyhydramnios is too much fluid and oligohydramnios is not enough fluid. So in my opinion, the reason that you would have like any type of fluid is you would have to have a balance rather than like with the esophageal swallowing from the baby or the renal kidneys like peeing it out. And so if you're not peeing it out because you have no kidneys, I imagine that you won't, is it oligo? I would probably guess oligo in this case um, because absence of both kidneys means you're not peeing out liquid or peeing out like enough for the for the mom to like develop enough uh amniotic fluid okay i think that's what i would go with final answer sure yes yeah great so let's talk about this okay so you you actually you know you figured it out from top to beginning but um just in case you forget potter sequence happens practically is if you think about baby within mom's um uterus right and in floating in the amniotic fluid right? Um, there's not enough of it. And so um, kiddo gets flattened out. It gets cramped in there. So kiddo's face gets flattened, right? Everything kind of gets squished together. That's Potter sequence. Okay. okay. So that's, that's automatically all ago, right? Obviously, if you have too much amniotic fluid, that's a lot of space to not get smushed. You know what I'm trying to oh, say? Okay. That, makes, that makes more sense. Yeah. But definitely for sure, right? Um, things that will cause Potter sequence are things that will cause oligohydramnios, right? Meaning you're not peeing, meaning that you're not... Um, you're not creating enough amniotic fluid, right? And things that cause polyhydramnios is usually things that deal with swallowing because that's kind of the cycle, right? You swallow it to decrease it, you pee it out to create it in the in the womb, right? And so things that cause polyhydramnios, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, I think some like maybe diabetes or something like that. Um, but um, on a mechanical standpoint, right? Like for instance, um, things that have polygohydramnios or things that um, have like, you know, let's say esophageal atresia or something like that, where you're not, you know what I mean? Where you're not able to swallow, mm -hmm. so yeah. just yeah. producing, but you're not able to swallow. So think that's how you think of it mechanically. So, 